So while they are finishing up the test, uh, Jen is cooking. Oh, see the rain, it's fogging us all up. I don't know how well that'll last, uh, but the rain stopped for a second and Jen needs a couple heads of dill. And it's so nice having your own garden and you all can't see me once again. Assume dirt's crazy? No. That's yeah. pretty plain. Dirt's pretty plain. Dang. We're getting there. I got two hands on it. I got two hands. Mm. Howdy, do. Speed through. Did you knock it out? Yeah. Knock it, you sure? Yeah. Knock it out of the park. Yeah, one wrong. wrong. One wrong. One wrong. Mm -hmm. Six plus four. Six plus four. What he read? What's six plus four? Share not old and paper angle getting. You count it out. <laughs> What's six plus four? Count it. I did. Did it again. What is it? Ten. That's all right. We all make mistakes. Good job. Just don't let it happen again. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I said we agree that. What's that? What? Well. Wow. Eating the green man? Look at you. Go ahead, brother. Wow. Eat it up. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. You only get one green bean because you uh, missed six plus four. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can eat all the green beans you want to eat, brother. Quit eating the product. Okay. We didn't have a whole big harvest. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So we are back in the kitchen. Um, it's a rainy day. It's been rainy for like the past three. Jesus. I am bringing out my green beans. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been raining for like three days straight. Kentucky decided it was spring all over again. Yeah. Um, but the garden loves it. It's just it's been those all day kind of rain. So we was like, she ain't done a cooking video in a while. Um, we'll do a cooking video. So what, what are we doing today? We are making fermented green beans, Ooh. which are just dilly beans, your regular old dilly beans. And these are the ones that came straight from our garden. Yep. Um, I would say that the green beans are our best producers in this mix. The long slender ones are the blue lake bush beans and the fatter ones are that name I can never remember. Yeah. The ones with the pink, but the pink is very light. I don't even know if you can see that, but it, it's very light. It's not like the uh, rattlesnakes where it's like very vibrant. Um, but they're they're cool. Um, what is it? So is, this isn't dilly beans, is it? Or yeah, it's dilly beans. Dilly beans. So fermenting, she is putting banana peppers in it as we speak. From our garden. From our garden. And one jalapeno. Oh no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the jalapenos and banana peppers are both from our garden as well. Um, and then what else do they need? The garlic and dill. Yep. You'll see. You'll see. Jalapenos look so good. I just want to eat them, but I know that would be a terrible idea. So I won't. <laughs> you keeping seeds and all there, huh? Uh huh. Man, hey, buddy. She, she loves the seed, y'all. 
Okay, so now we're gonna make our brine. I need a tablespoon of salt per cup of water. I have half a tablespoon. And my water. I'm gonna stir it up and let it dissolve. And you use pink Himalayan salt. Yeah, you can use kosher salt, but I just have pink Himalayan salt. Okay, so now I'm putting in our dill. I've got two heads of dill, but I may not have enough room, so I might just use one. Push it in there. Push it. So if you're not growing your own dill, that's perfectly okay. You can still get this at the store. Does it have to be heads, or could they just use the actual dill? Um, you can just use the leaves, but you really don't even have to use dill if you don't want to. I recommend using dill if you can grab it. It's definitely really good and adds a very fantastic flavor to it. And one clove of garlic. Stick it in there. And then pour the brown. This one's so good. Yeah. Really one inch of headspace. Okay, so I actually don't have a weight. Um, you're supposed to put a weight on it to keep them under the water because if they get above the water, they can start to mold and do nasty stuff. It has to be under. So we filled up a baggie with water and put it on. It's working. So I've never tried it before. I've seen people do it, but it actually works. So there you go. Now we're going to put on our fermenting lid which can be any lid. If you use a regular lid, just make sure you shake it and burp it every day. But this little guy lets the gases come out and they're gonna sit for five to seven days and they're gonna be delicious. Love fermented green beans, they're so good. Okay, so the real star of the show, um, we are gonna make cucumber bites. So Mama Z's Texas Kitchen asked us to be a part of her collab, which is really fun. It's summer snacks. Um, all your favorite recipes and we all add them together and everybody makes their own videos. So it's really cool. It's really inspiring for summertime when you're not really wanting to cook a whole lot. I know I don't. I did last night for like the first time in a while. <laughs> um, but you still need snacks, you know, snacks by the pool, snacks outside to keep the kids blood sugars up and keep them going and running. So this is one of our favorites. We actually started making this in North Carolina when we lived there. And it is really, really good. And it's super simple. Um, and if you have a garden, you'll probably have cucumbers running out of your ears. So this is something that you can do to keep up with that. It's just another way to use it. So we'll get started. Okay, so I usually do two cucumbers, but this one was really, really big. Um, and I didn't want to waste. So I'm just going to do one. I've already peeled it, chopped the ends off, and now we're going to slice up. Y'all watch out, she got the knife. <laughs> Not too thick but not thin because you want there to be some girth to it when you put your stuff on top. So slice them up real quick and then we'll put them on a plate. Okay, so we've got cream cheese here. I think we're only going to use four ounces, which is half of it because the whole thing is eight ounces. Um, and it is soft and well. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> And it's been sitting out for a while, so it's soft. You want it to be soft so you can mix it up real good, not have an issue. So we're gonna squeeze about half of it into this little bowl. And I made an executive decision for her to go ahead and put that whole bad boy in there, because you can't have too much. It just goes on top. I like it thin. He likes a lot. Like a lot. Do it as like. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna get two tablespoons of mayonnaise. <laughs> about that much ranch. Yeah, about that much. A little bit more. How much ranch? A, a lot. More than you meant to. Well, how much do you need to? <laughs> Three tablespoons. <laughs> We're going to put in some fresh dill from the garden. I'm just using the leaves because I use the heads on the dilly beans. Gives it a really nice pop of color, too. Yeah. That bright green and the very, very white. Sauce. Like summertime. Summertime. It smells like it too. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of added, or she added, just really however much she wanted to, but it's about a few tablespoons, two or three tablespoons in there. And then now what are we doing now? We're doing garlic salt now. Garlic so we're salt. We're going to do about a fourth a teaspoon of garlic salt. Fourth a teaspoon. I like garlic salt. 
We'll see how that is. Okay, and now you're just gonna mix it all together. So under my own assumption, not at the guidance of her, I would say if you didn't have dill on this one, you could probably substitute with like a lemon juice or something like that to kind of give you that tartness flavor, right? That'd be good. Yeah, so if you didn't have it, I would probably use that. Actually, if you put lemon juice in mayonnaise, that's what we do like when you make like coleslaw and stuff. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where she was headed with that, but she's gonna say it wouldn't mix. I have a feeling. Mm -hmm. um, but just, you know, you can kind of play around with it. The dill is just the best flavor in our opinion. Okay, so at this point, you could take a little scoop and scoop out the inside if you wanted to so that this will sit in it nicely, but I usually don't take that extra time because it's just too much. <laughs> We're usually in a hurry wanting to get back outside. So you just take it and you scoop it on. You can either spread it or leave it in a little dollop. And it's so stinking good. All right, they're done. So you could put them in the fridge and chill them. That makes them even better, but we're just gonna eat them. Those are so good. Have you tried one? Wow. <laughs> Ow, that was my finger. <laughs> Feed Nelly. Smooth. Hey, big, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. So uh, good. So you have the nice crisp freshness of the cucumber. Um, the mayonnaise and the ranch are just a good combo of anything but it's the dill. Mm -hmm. That dill cake that you get is amazing yeah. in there. You could also put a little cherry tomato on top. Mm, that would be good. Yeah. There's so many things that you can add to it. This is like kind of your basic, and then you can just run with it from there if yeah. you want, but I promise you will not be disappointed yeah. with just that There's mixture. There's nothing in it that people don't like, so it's a right. winner. That is, it's absolutely a winner, and it's just a perfect, cool bite to get a snack on, because you know, when you're really hot, you're not super hungry, yeah. for the most part, especially if you're working. But that is refreshing, almost like a cool glass of water. Yeah. Yeah. So there you have it. There's two summer snacks, really both refreshing and super good classics that nobody will not like. That's exactly um, right. You can take them to July 4th. You can take them Memorial Day, Labor Day, wherever. Right? Like we're past Memorial Day. Yeah. <laughs> well, next year. <laughs> next year. Um, but yeah, she's exactly right. They're nice. Uh, just pop them in a Tupperware in your cooler. Yeah. Keep them cool. And everybody's going to be like, oh my gosh, what did you put this in? Yeah. What's the sauce that you put on top of this cucumber? Uh, and you just, you always have so many, right? It's always good to have a million different ways to, to eat cucumbers. Yeah. So that collaboration is really cool. We actually have another recipe that we're going to do another day. Watch um, out. And they all have awesome recipes. So go check her out. And um, she probably has a playlist that will link you to everyone else. But yeah, super cool idea. Um, her channel is a cooking show. So she does all kinds of stuff. And it's really fun to watch. Yeah. And I'm glad, you know, Jim back in the kitchen. I feel like we hadn't done one in forever. So yeah. probably the jello cake, right? Wow. Yeah. It has been a while. So, uh, you know, it's good to get uh, some new recipes and it allows my belly to be full with yummy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, subscribe button, make sure you do down below. All right, we love y'all. Until the next Bye. one. Bye.